I had no idea this was happening until everyone was here. I would just think it's pretty ridiculous that they didn't check with the students first. Even if they can quarantine, it's like they're still here and still using Arcata's facilities and even if no one has it, there's still a carrier for it, maybe. On the university's campus and as well as in town, I think this puts a lot of people at danger. Humboldt's cases are low, but I mean, people who came from the Bay Area where it's a hot spot, that's, you know, a little concerning and alarming. And this is a small community and I think there's a big lack of resources. So to invite more people in really makes things tight. They've been contained in a bubble this whole time and they're not seeing contact with the student population. I think the risk side of it has been addressed to an extent. Everybody that came up from San Jose tested negative before they came up here and they've been testing pretty aggressively since they've been up here. These people coming up here aren't coming up here to ruin the whole ecosystem or alignment of, of what HSU Athletics is doing and what HSU as a university is doing. It's just felt strange that the school would invite them up here when we have a strict no guest policy all of a sudden and COVID's going on. We can't have guests from even other um, areas of housing. So say if I wanted somebody from Trinity even, which is the same complex where I live, to come over to my place. We couldn't do that, but they can invite some people from San Jose. Definitely feels uh, inconsistent. I mean, they said that it wasn't going to impact us at all, them being here, and yet uh, my roommate the other night went to go for a walk, you know, uh, test out his new shoes on the track and couldn't do it. it. Seems like they tried to downplay their impact on the campus. Like, well, the, the track is closed off now. Technically, it's been closed off to the campus since the outbreak began. It just hasn't been enforced until now. I think if we have the facilities, we may as well open them up to somebody. I think it's a bummer that obviously we don't have our own program here practicing, but if we have the facilities and we can offer them to other people, I'm all for it in a safe manner as well. I'm part of Ultimate Frisbee, but that's a club sport, so. You know, it, it definitely sucks that we're not allowed to play, but I'm just trying to stay in practice by playing uh, disc golf out in the community for us, so. But no, no team practices right now. I actually had a discussion with some of the club sports representatives uh, a week ago or so. They were initially more disgruntled with the idea that our athletes here, our NCAA-affiliated athletes, were able to practice while they weren't. And one of the things we had to tell them was that wasn't an HSU administration decision. That was a decision that came when this pandemic started from the chancellor's office. I'm really grateful to be here because it's the only way we're able to practice and it's the only way we can get ready for our first game. So I, I think it's amazing that Humboldt has let us come do this so that we can get ready because the alternative is that we don't play at all. We practice every day for the most part and if we're not practicing then we're doing a walkthrough or we're having team meetings. But it, it takes up a good chunk of the day pretty much every day. Staying in the dorms and everything and following COVID protocol and all that. It is what it is. There's a lot of downtime, but I would say the overall experience has been good. I think both sides just need to take into account that there's people on the other side of this debate that you know have implications lying on it, whether you're a student here or you're a student at SJSU. They're not coming up here for no reason. And you know, obviously we're not up here for no reason as well. So.